In this video, we are going to study distributive property in detail. Okay? So, let us first know what is the use of this property. Okay? We use this property in doing multiplications. Okay? To make multiplication easier. So, let us move on to the property. Distributive property means we have to distribute something. Okay? Let us see what we have to distribute. Under this, the first one is distribution of multiplication over addition. Okay? Multiplication over addition. Have a look at this children. A into B plus C equal to A into B plus A into C. Can you see this A repeated? Yeah. That means I have distributed A to B. That is A into B. Okay. Plus the operation is plus. I have distributed this A to C. That is A into C. As you can see this. Okay. So once more children. A into B plus C equal to A into B plus A into C. You please remember the vice versa also. That is A into B plus A into C equal to A into B plus C. Remembering this will help you to do the problems easier. So let us begin with an example. So children look at this example. 2 into negative 3 plus 5. And here you can see something. What is that children? I have distributed 2 to negative 3. That is 2 into negative 3. The operation is addition. Right? So, I have distributed this 2 to 5. That is 2 into 5. Okay? And you have to remember that here in place of A, we can see 2. In place of B, you can see negative 3. In place of C, you can see 5. Okay? So, let us find the solutions separate. Okay? Let's find the answer. Equal to 2 into what is negative 3 plus 5? Negative 3 plus 5. They are of different signs. So we have to subtract and put bigger number sign. 5 minus 3 is 2. Here 5 is the bigger number. It's positive. So answer is just 2 itself. Right? So, what is the answer, children? 2 into 2, that is equal to 4. So, the LHS part, we got the answer as 4. Let's go for the RHS also. 2 into negative 3. What is 2 into negative 3? It is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 2 into 5. What is 2 into 5? It is 10, right? So, at last, what do we get? Negative 6 plus 10. Again, they are of different signs. We have to subtract and put bigger number sign. 10 minus 6, it is 4. Bigger number sign, positive. So, here we got 4. So, the RHS answer is also 4. LHS is also 4. That means they are equal, right? So, what can we conclude, children? 2 into negative 3 plus 5 is equal to 2 into negative 3. 2 into negative 3 plus 2 into 5. That is distributive property. So we can conclude that multiplication distributes over addition. Okay children? So that is this property. Let's now check. Distribution of multiplication over subtraction. Okay. It was addition at first and now we are checking for subtraction. So A into B minus C equal to A into B minus the operation is subtraction. A into C. Okay. So here also let us check whether multiplication distributes over subtraction. We will start with an example. Here you see an example. 5 into 7 minus 10. And here you can see I have distributed this 5 into 7. That is 5 into 7. Also the operation is subtraction. I have distributed 5 into 10. That is 5 into 10. Okay. Here also let us check whether we are getting the same answer. Okay children. 5 into 7 minus 10. What is 7 minus 10? Yes, 
negative 3. Right? Negative 3. Okay. So, finally what do we get? 5 into negative 3 is equal to negative 15. Okay. So, that is answer of LHS. Let's check the RHS also. 5 into 7. What is 5 into 7? It is 35 minus. What is 5 into 10 children? It is 50. Okay. So, 35 minus 50. What is the answer? 50 minus 35 means it is 15 and bigger number side. Right? Negative. So, we got negative 15. So, look at the answers children. Here also we got the same answer. Right? So, 5 into 7 minus 10 is equal to equal to 5 into 7 minus 5 into 10. So, here also we can conclude that Multiplication distributes over subtraction. Okay. So A into B minus C is equal to A into B minus A into C. Remember the vice versa also. A into B minus A into C is equal to A into B minus C. Let's look some more examples. So children, in the beginning of this video, I have told the use of the distributive property. Do you remember? Yes, I have told that we can use distributive property to make the multiplications easier. So you can see the question here, find the product using distributive property. Let's check the first question. 15 into 104. Yes, we can do this easily by distributive property. Let's check how to do that. Okay, you know that children... We can write 104 as 100 plus 4. 100 plus 4. And now this is in the form of A into B plus C. Yes, this is in the form of A into B plus C. That is A is equal to 15, B is equal to 100, C is equal to 4. And you know that A into B plus C is equal to a into B plus A into C. Here in place of A we have 15. We have distribute 15 to 100. Yes. Distribute 15 to 100. So what do we get? 15 into 100. Plus. The operation is plus. Then we have distribute this 15 to 4. So what do we get? 15 into 4. Okay. So what is the answer? We can easily write the answer. 15 into 100. It is 1500. Plus. What is 15 into 4? It is 60. So what is the final answer? We can write very really easily. 1560. Okay. If you practice more questions. You can say the answer in your mind itself. You can do the calculations in your mind itself. Okay. So this is the first one. This is distribution of multiplication over addition. Let's check second one. 20 into 99. Many of you may have got how to do this. Yes. Let's start. 20 into 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. Okay. 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. So now this is the form of A into B minus C. A into B minus C. In place of A is 20, B 100 and C 1. Okay. So A into B minus C is equal to A into B minus A into C. Okay. So now let's distribute 20 to 100 and 20 to 1. Okay. 20 into 100 minus. Here the operation is minus. Distribute this 20 to 1 also. 20 into 1. Okay. What is 20 into 100? It's very easy. 2000 minus 20 into 1. It's 20. Again it's very easy to subtract. Yes. 2000 minus 20. It is 1980. So that is. Distribution of multiplication over subtraction.
Okay? So that's it. So children, let's look at one more question. Negative 48 into 99 plus negative 48 into 1. Don't get worried by seeing the length of this question. We can do this very easily using distributive property. That is distribution of multiplication over addition. Okay. Here you can see negative 48 is distributed to 99 and 1. Okay. And this is in the form A into B plus A into C. I hope you remember. What is A into B plus A into C? That is A into B plus C. Okay. So, tell me children, what is A? A is negative 48. B is 99. And C is 1. Okay. We will substitute that values here. So, A is negative 48 into B is 99 plus C is 1. Okay. Let's see what is the answer. So, negative 48 into 99 plus 1 means 100. You know that. So, we got the answer. Negative 48 into 100, it is negative 4800. See children, how fastly we got the answer using distributive property. Okay. That's it. So children, let us record what we have studied in this video. Okay. So at first we have studied distribution of multiplication over addition. That is A into B plus C equal to A into B plus A into C. The vice versa also. A into B plus A into C is equal to A into B plus C. Also we have studied distribution of multiplication over subtraction. That is a into B minus C is equal to A into B minus A into C. The vice versa also. A into B minus A into C is equal to A into B minus C. So that is the student property. That's all for today. Thank you children.